for reaction number three. We're going to have a reaction between our potassium hydroxide and this HClO3. So the K is going to go with the chlorate, the hydrogen with the hydroxide. When you check your solubility chart, anything that has alkaline ions in them is going to be soluble. So potassium chlorate is aqueous. Then our other product, H with OH, hydrogen's plus one, hydroxide's minus one, so we get HOH. You might remember, might remember from our balancing chapter that we said that sometimes when you're balancing equations and there's water in that equation, it's a little bit easier to figure out the balancing if you rewrote water as HOH. So this HOH is water in disguise. It's okay if you write it as HOH or H2O. I would accept either one on a quiz or a test. Now the state of matter on water, water's a liquid. Up above in our notes, it said that there's only three liquids that I would ask you guys to recognize if you see them in reactions. Water's one of them. And the other two liquids I would ask you to know uh, in our class are the elements bromine and mercury. At room temperature, these guys are both pure liquids. Um, you might know, for example, that thermometers, old school thermometers, they used to use mercury in them a long time ago, a liquid metal that would expand inside that thermometer depending on if you had a fever or not. So water, bromine, and mercury are the only three liquids I would ask you to know just by sight. Are there other liquids out there? Yes. Would you be expected to know them in a chemical reaction? No. So if water is a liquid, you'll notice how my water looks exactly the same all the way down, just like our precipitate did in number one. The state of matter for water is not AQ. AQ means dissolved in water. It's a little weird to say that water would dissolve in water, right? Our water stays as HOH. We are gonna cancel out our potassium and chlorate spectators. So the only ions that we have left over to make our net ionic equation are to have this hydroxide and this hydrogen come together to make liquid water.